Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss two examples. Okay. So in this example, they have asked to determine the poles and uh, we have to find residue at each pole. Okay. So this is the first function we have. So let me write the function properly. So we have f of z 1 minus e raised to 2z upon z raised to 4, right? So this is a given function. First of all, we have to find its singular points. That means a point where denominator will be 0. Will you tell me at what point denominator will be 0? z is equal to 0. If I put z is equal to 0, denominator will be 0. So therefore, clearly, z is equal to 0 is a singular point. So tell me one thing, uh, can I say it's a pole of order 4? Not directly. The reason is that if I put z is equal to 0 at numerator, e raised to 0, 1, 1 minus 1, 0. That means we are getting 0 at numerator also. That means by putting z is equal to 0, we are getting 0 upon 0 form. So definitely z is equal to 0 is a singular point, but we cannot declare directly it's a pole of order 4. Get it? So for that, I need to go through the definition. The definition says you should express it, the given function in the form of Lorentz series first. And by observing the principal part of Lorentz series, we decide the type of singularity. And if it is a pole, we can easily find its order also. So let us go for that. f of z, 1 minus e raised to 2z upon z raised to 4. So now our task is to find its Lorentz series expansion. What we do first, we try to find the standard function. You can easily see we have a very one standard function that is e raised to 2z. So we are familiar with its expansion. The series of e raised to z is 1 plus z plus z square by 2 factorial plus z cube by 3 factorial, right? Plus z raised to 4 by 4 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial plus and so on. So we are familiar with this series. I am going to use it just at a place of z what we have 2z. This is the only difference. Let me write that 1 upon z raised to 4 separately. I am writing the denominator separately here. 1 minus at a place of z we have to put 2z. 1 plus 2z here. 2z square, I am writing directly, 4z square by 2 factorial, 2z cube, that means 8z cube by what? 3 factorial, 2z raised to 4, 2 raised to 4 is 16, z raised to 4 by 4 factorial, one more term I will write, okay, let me remove this part, z raised to 5, no, but now we have 2z raised to 5. 2 raised to 5 is 32, z raised to 5 upon 5 factorial plus and so on, okay. Now we need to solve the bracket. Outside the bracket, we have minus sign. If you remove the bracket, all sign will get change. Just a minute. Okay, so let me write here. This is equal to 1 upon z raised to 4. 1 minus sign will get change minus 1 minus 2z. 2 factorial means 2. 2, 2 will get cancelled minus 2z square. 3 factorial means 6. Let me write minus 8z cube by 6. 16 minus 16z raised to 4. 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2, 24 minus 32 z raised to 5. 5 factorial is 120. 5 factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Okay. 1, 1 will get cancelled. 1 by z raised to 4 minus 2z minus 2z square. Both are divisible by 2. So minus 4z cube by 3. Both are divisible by 8. So 8 2 is 16 and 8 3 is 24 minus both are divisible by uh, 8. Yes, so 8 4 is 32 and 8 15 is 120. Okay, so I got this one. 
so now now what will i do i will multiply each term by 1 by z is to 4 okay so let us solve the bracket minus 2z upon z is to 4 2z square by z is to 4 minus 4z cube by z is to 4 3 is huh? here 3 in denominator 2z is to 4 by 3z is to 4 minus 4z is to 5 by 15z is to 4 and so on so we can cancel out no some terms so zz will get cancelled minus 2 by z cube z square will get cancelled z cube we can cancel z raised to 4 z raised to 4 cancel z raised to 4 z raised to 4 cancel and so on okay so finally we got the Lorentz series expansion so let us find the uh, principal part and analytic part in analytic part z appears at numerator in principal part z appears at denominator so here z appears at denominator so this is principal part z appears at numerator so this is analytic part okay so let us find how many terms are there in principal part only three terms are there if Lorentz series expansion at finite number of uh, principal part we call it as a pole so therefore it is clear therefore z is equal to 0 is a pole so now the question is what will be its order let us find the highest power of z in denominator the highest power of z in denominator is 3 so it's a pole of order 3 okay so maybe some people will guess z is equal z is equal to 0 is a pole of order 4 but actually it is not true it's a pole of order 3 so we had that confusion because actually we were getting 0 at numerator also by putting z is equal to 0 in that case that means when you get 0 upon 0 form now you need to express in a Lorentz series expansion then only we will decide it is a pole or not and if it is a pole we can guess its order getting okay? we cannot say directly okay so after that what we have to do we have to find residue okay uh, no more space is there just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so if you have a pole we have a very simple formula to calculate the residue but i will not go through the formula i will go to the definition since already we have Lorentz series expansion and the definition is related with Lorentz series expansion so residue of f of z at z is equal to 0 so the definition says residue is nothing but b1 b1 means what it's a coefficient of 1 upon z minus z0 here z0 is 0 that means z minus 0 which is z itself so coefficient of 1 by z what is coefficient of 1 by z coefficient of 1 by z you can easily see in third term we get minus 4 by 3 so this is required residue okay make a screenshot of it then we will go for the next example so now let us discuss this very simple example okay what we have z cube upon z minus 1 z minus 2 z minus 3 this is the function we have and we have to find its poles as well as we have to find their residues right so let me write f of z what is the function we have f of z z cube upon z minus 1 z minus 2 z minus 3 we have to find the points where the denominator will be 0 so z is equal to 1 will create denominator at 0 z is equal to 2 we get 0 at denominator z is equal to 3 if you have put we get a 0 at denominator that means 1 2 and 3 are singular points getting these are singular points but if you put those values at numerator it will never create 0 if I put z is equal to 1 or 2 or 3, you will never get 0 at numerator. So directly I can declare these are poles of order 1, 1, 1 since their powers are 1. Bracket have powers 1. So that's why we can say z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 1. Similarly, 2 and 3 also poles of order 1. We also call them as, as simple poles. Let me clearly mention clearly z is equal to 1 z is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 are simple poles now we have to find residue at those simple poles if you have simple poles we have very simple formula to calculate the residue so let me use residue 
of f of z at z is equal to 1 the formula says limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 f of z we are finding the std at 1 so i am using 1 here so limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 let us put f of z this is our f of z it is z cube upon z minus 1 z minus 2 z minus 3 so tell me can we cancel anything here yes definitely i can cancel this z minus 1 and z minus 1 will get cancelled okay let us continue the next part here this is equal to limit z tends to 0 at numerator we have z cube and in denominator we have z minus 2 z minus 3 now we have to find the value of this limit that means simply we have to put z is equal to sorry 1 z is equal to 1 we have to put 1 cube if i put 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 if i put 1 1 minus 3 minus 2 1 cube is 1 product of these two is 2 so the residue is 1 by 2 right let us go for the next pole z is equal to 2 residue of f of z at z is equal to 2 it is again a simple pole so that's why i should use the same formula limit z tends to 2 z minus 2 f of z limit z tends to 2 z minus 2 I should put the value of f of z, this value I am going to put. So tell me what can we cancel? We, uh, I think I made a mistake, z minus 1, z minus 2, z minus 3, z minus 1, z minus 2 and z minus 3. So we can cancel z minus 2, z minus 2, right? So after that I will find the value of this limit by putting z is equal to 2 everywhere. So you will get? 2 cube by applying the limit 2 minus 1 1 2 minus 3 minus 1 so 2 cube is 8 in denominator we get minus 1 so the residue is minus 8 okay make a screenshot of it then we'll go for the next part of this example okay so let us find residue at z is equal to 3 residue of f of z at z is equal to 3 so it is again a simple pole so i should use the same formula limit z tends to 3 simply at place of 2 we will have 3 okay so this is equal to limit z tends to 3 z minus 3 i should put the same value of f of z which is a z cube upon z minus 1 z minus 2 z minus 3 guess the next step z minus 3 z minus 3 will get cancel limit z tends to 3 remaining part is z cube at numerator and z minus 1 z minus 2 at denominator let us apply the limit that means simply we have to put z is equal to 3 everywhere this is 3 cube 3 minus 1 2 in first bracket 3 minus 2 1 in second bracket 3 cube is 27 am i right 3 into 3 into 3 2 into 1 2 so this is required residue okay so in this way we calculated residues so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video